So in this video, I want to talk about angles of elevation and depression. Okay, so it's probably best just to jump straight into it. So here's some ground, the ground, the floor. Um, now let's put a, an object on the ground here. Let's make it uh, an ant. And here's our ant on the ground. Now let's put something out here in the sky. Um, Here's our bird. Sorry about that. Now, the ant can see the bird. And the bird can see the ant. Okay. Now, the angle between the ground and the ant is called the angle of elevation that angle right there the angle of elevation and that's the bit of this question that people find really really easy so if I was to say this in a sentence I could say let's give it a number let's say that that's 41 degrees what I could say is the ant sees the bird at an angle of elevation of 41 degrees. That's the ant looking at the bird. The ant sees the bird at an angle of elevation of 41 degrees. All right, let's take a look at the slightly more difficult one. Now, not only can the ant see the bird, but the bird can see the ant. Now, the way that we show that measurement is different. The bird was flying straight forwards. Not that it matters, but it's good for my illustration. The bird's flying this way. What I've done is draw a line that's parallel to the ground. Now, the angle that the bird looks down towards the ant, this angle here is called the angle of depression. All right, now in this particular illustration, uh, that angle is going to be 49 degrees. The angle of depression is going to be 49 degrees. Sorry, I lied. It's going to be 41 degrees. Now, the reason for that is your Z rule, which you guys have learned before in geometry. Not that it matters too much for the purposes of this discussion. Angle of depression, angle of elevation, they're going to be equal. Now, I can draw a triangle. I can draw a line straight down from the bird. And you can see I have a nice right angle triangle. Or I can draw a line up from the ant. And I have a nice right angle triangle. Now, say I know how high the bird is. Let's say I know that the bird is 50 metres above the ground. What I have is a right angle triangle with an angle and a length. And I can find pretty much anything else. I can find the distance that the bird would have to fly to swoop down to get the ant. I can find this distance from the ant to the spot directly below that bird. I can find the distance that the bird would have to fly to be directly above the ant. Okay, so last thing I'll say about this is that generally in my maths classes and in all maths classes, angle of elevation, this part here, people do really, really well. Everyone knows what the angle of elevation is. It's between the ground and the ant. The mistake that lots and lots of people make is when it comes to angle of depression. They think that the angle of depression is here, but it's not. In order for you to draw an angle of depression, you have to draw an imaginary line here, and that's your angle of depression, right there. Now, you can still find this angle. You can find this angle because you know that that's 90 degrees. You know that that's 41, so 90 minus 41 
is 49 degrees, and that's how I made my mistake here. So this is the angle of elevation, this is the angle of depression, but if you know that, you can find a bunch of other stuff. Pythagoras, trigonometry, everything's in play when it comes to angles of elevation and depression.